G'day, Ben from Melbourne here. Today I'm gonna to do Costas' uh, cover thread. That's Costas from Lego Pady, um, his channel, which is fantastic. He's got such good taste in music and wide and varied everything from wild punk shit through to, um, yeah, minimal electronic, you name it, it's in there. He covers a lot of ground and a lot of stuff that you will never have heard of before, so uh, make sure you have a pen and paper when you check out the great Costas, one of the cool guys in the VC. Um, yeah, passionate, um, nice head of hair too, by the way. So, how could I not want to jump on his um, idea, which is to show a few records, I think I'm showing 10, I can't remember how many I got out, but it's to show um, records which have cover songs, nothing new there, but things that might be a little bit unusual in some way. Anyway, so we'll have a crack. First up, I'm going to start with The Mighty Saints and their album, I'm Stranded. Um, there's actually two covers on this. They do um, the Missing Link song, Wild About You. Uh, that's not unusual at all. Little tip of the hat to the... Uh, garage punk forefathers of the 60s um, who were an amazing band check them out too but the weird one on this is they do a version of um, the Elvis song Kiss and Cousins uh, I think that was an Elvis film I think it's in there somewhere uh, well I know it's in there somewhere I just can't read it because my eyes since the last year I can't read shit Yes, I know. I'm getting my eyes tested. Shut up. Um, but getting back to the program, they absolutely kill it. Um, make it into their own fun punk anthem. The Saints with Kissin' Cousins. Next up. Now, this one is obvious in retrospect, but probably not at the time. So we've got Nick Cave's debut album um, at this point. Bit of an unknown quantity of what he's going to do after the birthday party with their wild, howling art punk. Um, yeah, and then um, and his ferocious kind of growl style of singing back at that time before he's uh, gone into quite a uh, beautiful croon that we know him for these days. Um, the big baritone, if you will. But on this, he opens the album with Leonard Cohen's Avalanche. Yeah, obvious now that the man's in love with Leonard Cohen. But back then, who would have thought the lead singer of The Birthday Party would have covered a Leonard Cohen song? It's insane. Next, local Melbourne band Black Cab. Um, these guys, great psychedelic uh, rock band at this point, which was their uh, first album, I think, and um, developed into a really electronic, dark, synthy, electronic kind of influence by Joy Division, New Order, that kind of thing. Um, a really interesting band. They love a concept too, as you can see here. This is called Ultimon Diary, which is about the infamous Stones concert. Um, and if you know Black Cab, after that description, if you don't know them, you might find it weird that they would do a cover of the Grateful Dead's new Speedway Boogie. Great version. And it's actually, weirdly, not that different from the original, but it works. Great record too. Next, The Beasts. That's right, The Low Road. Oh, stuff falling out. I'll just put that over there. This was uh, the fourth B Suburban album with the new rhythm section of uh, Tony Poller and Brian Hooper. A bit more straight up and down rock and roll rhythm section. Um, again, two covers on this one. Um, so, yeah, a bit more rock and roll, hard rock style record than their previous stuff, although they did bring it, but it was a bit more of uh, from the punk and cow punk style of heaviness. Don't know why I did that. I don't want to threaten anyone. It's not my style. Anyway, so it was unusual that out of all the ACDC songs they chose to cover, they chose Ride On. 
that's right, the mellow one, and do a pretty straight up version of it, but do it really well. Like when you got sexy techs on vocals handling Bond's part, you know you're in safe hands. But the one, the infamous one, which they cover on this is a song that was never even officially released. Has that been done before? A cover like that? This is the only one I can think of. And they do an absolute rip roaring version of the Stones bootleg song. Um, well, not a bootleg song, it's their song, but it's being, you know, bootleg's the only way you can get it. They do an awesome cover of Cocksucker Blues. Um, yeah. Good version on this, the studio album, and also um, on the uh, Belly of the Beast, the live record. And they, yeah, continued for a long, long time to play that song in their sets. So, a little bit, yeah, don't know. I'd love to hear from people out there if they know of another song that was never actually released officially, but was covered by another band. All you nerds will probably name about 500 songs. All right, Ed Cooper with his great record, A King in the Kindness Room, um, keeping up the ACDC with Highway to Hell. Now, Highway to Hell is probably the song you would expect the Beast to do, but not Ed Cooper, especially coming from the Saints and especially not where he was at at this point. And it is, besides the melody, not a lot like Highway to Hell, but a great version. You can't kill a good song. Now, while we're on a... Uh, Ed Cooper vibe. Let's go to the Mighty Ain'ts and their absolutely ear pinning back, bone crunching, mind melting live record SLSQ. And yes, well, not only the, you know, are they really covers if you're covering a whole heap of Saints song when you're the guitarist of the Saints? Who knows? I'm not going to talk about that. There is a cover of uh, River Deep Mountain High, killer, but the highlight for me is a 10 minute and 15 second version of Del Shannon's Runaway. I don't think even Del Shannon knew there was that much in that song. Amazing, amazing live record too. All right, what do we got here now? The Birthday Party with the uh, record Hee Haw. Um, and they do a great cover of uh, Gene Vincent's Cat Man. Again, not that different, but it's the way they play it um, fits in with the whole birthday party sound at the time. Is it that way? Yeah. Don't matter. Next, another live record with the great Celibate Rifles with their record Kiss Kiss Bang Bang recorded at CBGB's in 1986. Whoa, this is a ripping live record. Um, if you want to know why Australian bands have a great reputation for playing live, have a listen to this. Or go see one. Um, now, what was the song? This is an obvious one, but geez, they rip it up. They do a great cover of Burn My Eye. Yeah, that one. The Birdman. Probably, yeah, it was only like about a few years after the last uh, Radio Birdman album. But yeah, great record. Right, bit of SPJ. Spencer P. Jones with his great record, Sobering Thoughts. Um, this one, not only does it feature the great original, the Bogans are having all the fun. There's a fantastic cover of Patti Smith's Dancing Barefoot. Really, really good. If you love the bass, you'll love Spence. Um, you know, he was the main man, but everybody thinks it's Tex, but Spence was the guitar slinging hero to me. Last one. Speaking of guitar slinging geniuses, the late, great Roland S. Howard with his masterpiece, Teenage Snuff Film, which features, believe it or not, two covers which he makes his own. First of all, She Cried, the girl group song, which was He Cried. And was that the, yes, I feel you all yelling at me, should have uh, read that first, but it's not coming to me. Is it the Ronettes? 
Let's talk about it another time. All right, and white wedding slows it down, turns the creep factor up to 11, spelt with a K, and just melts, oozes awesomeness all over your ear holes. That's it. Check out Costas. He's a legend. See you in the next one.